Welcome back to Queen's Natural Hair Care YouTube channel. Today we're going to be twisting dreads, repairing dreads, making putting moisture back in the dreads, and get them looking good for school. So for those who want to learn how to twist dreads fast without taking an hour or two hours, I hope that I can help you speed up your process. So at this point, we're going to start twisting the dreads. With that being said, you're going to need Queen's Natural Hair Care, Dreadlock Pudding, Growth Oil, Applelicious, your clips, your uh, shears, which is scissors, and whatever else you need to repair the dreads. So what I like to do first before I get started, my Dreadlock Pudding, which is Queen's Natural Hair Care, Make sure the hair is already, you want to wash it, been washed already. Make sure it's really saturated with water before you get started. He has really thick, coarse hair, haven't been twisted for quite some time. So what my main goal is to come in and train it and to make it relax and to get him looking good for school. As you can see, it's kind of poofy. I'm going to train it, make it look like it has a chemical on it. And then we're going to braid it up, step by step. So we're going to get started. Got my dreadlock pudding. I got my comb. We will not be twisting with a comb. I just want to show you guys how to speed up your process when you're in a hair salon. It should not take two hours or an hour and a half to twist dreads. When you're in your salon, you want to at least do 20 heads a day within 30 to 45 minutes flat. No matter how long they are, how thick they is. So with that being said, we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a towel around him so I won't, a towel around him so uh won't be messy. Sit up a little bit. Okay, so we have our towel to protect the client from putting gel all on them. You want to go ahead and make sure you're is really wet. This is my water bottle. He's kind of dry back there. So I'm going to go ahead and saturate it. And I can get it out. When you're wetting it, it makes the job much easier than twisting it dry. Wet the hair. I like to put my 100% growth oil inside my water. So therefore, I'm already giving the hair moisture back in, especially when the hair is overly dry. So I have the hair already wet. Putting the gel pudding on the comb. This is what's going to help you speed up the process. Just go through the entire hair, putting the dreadlock pudding, the beast mode pudding through the hair, saturating it. That will help you for not going one at a time, putting gel on each uh lock. I like to just come through and have it already there and then you're going to see exactly why. Twisting his hair will take me less than 20 minutes. After I put the uh, beast mode pudding all over it, make sure when you wash the hair there's nothing else in the hair because if you mix it with the um, pudding, you know, sometimes the hair can turn white. You don't want the hair to turn white due to other uh, hair product. My main goal again is to get him looking really good so when school is starting, he'll look presentable and not too wild looking. Also, I'm gonna have to repair about four or five dreads. So what I'm doing right now is just putting the uh, pudding on the roots of his locks. Make sure you have your clips, your brush, your water bottle, and the product that you're going to use. Now that we have applied all the dreadlock pudding, we can start to get started. Now 
This is what saves time. And he has very, he has a lot of locks. Most of my clients have locks long, but not this many. So for those who don't twist fast, I promise you, if you use this technique, it will help you save you at least 20 minutes in your time. Okay, so we already have the hair with all the pudding, as you can see. Go ahead, take your clip. Move the locks out the way that you know that's in your way. Clip them up or put a rubber band, whatever helps you better. My beast mode pudding, I don't care how coarse the hair is, it'll turn the hair into it as if it had chemicals on it. I like to brush my client's uh, hairline before I get started. Okay, now we have all the dreadlock pudding on it. It's time to get with it. Don't twist with a comb, because after you have twisted your client with a comb for so long, the roots is going to get thin. I take my hand, do it the old natural fas fashion way. Twist, clip. Make sure you have long clip. You work with the short clips, you'll be clipping all day. As you notice, as I'm going through the hair now, I don't have to apply anything because I already did it. This hair hasn't been twisted in a while, so it's a little tangly, but it's nothing that I cannot work through. So as you twist it, then you clip. After we finish the entire process, I'm gonna put them under the dryer for about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and braid the hair that locks down. And when you twist them, don't worry about the roots, I mean the end of them. All we're concentrating on right now is setting the roots. That's what my concentration is on right at this moment. And you want to speed up your process, especially if somebody, your client have long, long and thick locks. Go ahead and saturate all the product on the head first. I promise you, you're like, oh yeah, this is saving me time. You twist them all the exact same way, however you started the client locks, clockwise or reversal wise. However you started them, that's the way you twist them. When I'm in my hair salon, I personally like to make sure each client only get an hour of my time. That way, you know exactly how many clients you have coming in. It's already been booked. And then that gives you time to go ahead and make extra money if you... Um, if you can save yourself an extra 30 minutes off each customer. These locks right here is locked, so I have to pull them apart. But with the um, beast mold pudding, it makes the hair really soft. So it won't hurt the client when you're pulling it apart. Just twisting, clipping. Twist, clip. The hair get a little dry. Come back in and wet. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to the front. I have twisted the back. This hair is really thick. So make sure you have a lot of clips to tame your client hair. And with hair being this thick, you would definitely, like I said, want to saturate all the locks with the uh, dreadlock pudding because it would save you time, especially when the hair is thick and you're trying to twist it one at a time and put um, products on it. I'm telling you, it would save you time. You know, and when I twist his hair, I got to make sure I have everything ready because his locks are so thick 
they'll slow me down. So I really saturate his hair with a lot of my product putting just to save me some time and not uh, overworking myself. As you can see, when I twist the locks, it kind of straighten it out. That's why I say don't worry about the ends because my uh, product actually pulls all the way through. Okay, as you see, I'm going to take this one. So I already saturated it. Plus, when you saturate it, gives time for the product to just go into uh, the follicles and uh, work its way down to the roots and the ends of the hair. See? Just twist it about six times. You don't have to twist the client hair where you're going to rip it off the head. You don't want to do that because it's going to start making the client's hair really uh, thin over time. So don't twist it where you can see the neat buckle up. And again, he has thick hair. Locks haven't been twisted in a minute, so they kind of, some of them are stuck together. And that's why I say it's good again to put the um, product already on. Now in the front of his hair, I actually apply my Afrolicious with the dreadlock pudding because I like to come back in, as you'll see in a minute, with a brush. And don't be afraid to brush your, your client's locks front and back. It's not going to destroy the locks at all. I'm getting to the front, so like I told you, my product makes the hair look like a chemical straightener. I don't care how coarse it is or how nice it is. It's still, as you see, I haven't even put any tension. It's straightening out. It doesn't matter who hair it is. And that way, your client will love this dreadlock pudding. You just lightly brush it. Look how slick it is. Make your job easy, not hard. This particular hair right here is going to be thin. So when he come back next month, I'll show you how I'm going to make sure it stay together. I apply it with another lock to make it thick so it will not fall off. Again, you don't have to put a lot of tension on the customer hair. Here go another really thin one. Over time, it's going to get thin and it's probably going to fall off. So what I'm going to do is take it with that one, twist it. After I finish twisting his hair, he will go under the dryer for 15 minutes. <clears throat> he has another lock that has actually came all the way apart. So I'm just going to take it with this lock, whichever one is closer, this one, and I'm going to Detach it to that one. Just braid around it if it's enough hair to braid around the another lock. So actually go ahead and braid that. I don't like to interlock it, crochet it, because over time it makes the client hair overly too thin at the roots. And then they'll start complaining about their locks is falling out. So guys who's trying to specialize in locks, just use your hand. That way you don't you will never have a complaint from a client. All this new technique, uh, cro crochet, interlocking, all that, it just makes the client hair. It looks good, but I promise you within four months, they'll their hair will be so thin you won't be able to crochet, interlock it, do nothing to it because you done already pulled it out from the roots. We have these last two dreads, locks left. I'm just lightly not putting stress on his hair. The uh, product itself does the work for you. It does save me a lot of time. It straightens the client hair out. The product moves from the roots to the end by itself, and it saves me a lot of time. We have his locks all twisted up. Now what we're going to do, you're going to take the client, put him under the dryer, what I like to do, if you have a sanic strip, go ahead and put the sanic strip around the hairline. That way it'll keep it looking real smooth when he come off under the dryer. Keep the clips in, put the sanic strip around it, and put them under the dryer for 15 minutes while you're prepping your next customer. Okay, so that's an extra dreadlock pudding I'm putting on the uh, hairline because I'm going to braid him. And I want his hairstyle to look professional for school. So I'll be back in 15 minutes 
And then the next section, we'll go into braiding my client hair back, showing you how to braid the locks. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Give Queen's Natural Hair Care a thumbs up. And please leave a comment if there's anything that has to do with natural hair that you need me to teach a technique on. I got you. Be back in 15 minutes.